Welcome to the Body, Soul, and Spirit Podcast. I'm thrilled to be with you guys once again. And we've been talking a lot about happiness, and I want to get on this journey of what happiness is and what happiness is not. Oftentimes, we don't understand happiness. We think it's a destination, a place that we arrive at. And so we're always falling short of it. Sometimes we fall in it or sometimes we fall out of it. So I want to talk about what happiness is. What are the myths of happiness? What will lead me to happiness? In our last podcast, I discussed what happiness is not. And happiness is not a destination. Happiness is a journey. Happiness is like a road that we stay on that requires and demands all of us to be a a people that are seeking it. And there are things that we must do to put our whole body, our whole being, our whole uh, person, and we begin to align ourselves in a way that leads us towards happiness. That includes your mind and your emotions and your body. And we also talked about languishing, which is the opposite of happiness. Psychologists have done a study of languishing and certain words describe languishing. And so we talked about some of these words, the opposite of happiness, right? The opposite would be, for example, uh, stagnation. That's what languishing is. You almost feel like you're going through mud. That's the opposite of happiness. So if you want to get on this road to happiness, then that means I can't stay stagnant. There must be some kind of progress in my life. There must be some kind of movement. So if I'm going to get on the road to happiness, then I must start moving forward. I must start making progress in areas of my life. Languishing also means the sense of emptiness, right? So the opposite of that would be purpose. So I need to find my purpose. Why am I here? To discover that, to find that, for that to be revealed in our lives will require God. Only God can tell us why we're here, our purpose. So if that's not something you've been seeking, why am I here? Maybe you need to get on that road asking God, Show me my purpose. Reveal it to me. And then make steps, forward steps to get you on the road to purpose. You may not necessarily step into it immediately. I find oftentimes that people want to discover or have the purpose revealed to them, but they're doing nothing. And they almost are waiting for something to fall from the sky. Start moving towards things that you love or would like to see changed. Typically, our purpose is sometimes discovered in the things that we dislike. For example, I have discovered in my own personal life, one of my purposes is to really pull people out of this stagnancy. I hate (laughs) to see somebody broken or stuck I love to see people move forward and thrive and push towards the life that really Jesus came to give us. I don't like to see somebody waste their life away. And I know that that's part of my, one of my purposes. So you want to discover your purpose, just find things that really bother you. And more than likely, you'll discover that inside of you are gifts, And part of your assignment here on the earth is to change it, to help those around you change that. Now, another word to describe languishing was a foggy focus. So if we want to get on the journey to happiness, we must have uh, clarity, a good perspective. Now, the way you see life, your perspective has everything to do with your heart. If your heart's in the wrong place, more than likely you're wearing the wrong lens. So... Something that maybe I would suggest is ask God to purify your heart. Tell God, cleanse my heart. I want a pure heart. David in the Bible, who was a king, prayed that powerful prayer. What he was saying is, give me the right perspective. How am I supposed to see this? 
not how I want to, not through the lens of my emotions. How do you really want me to see this? When we're unmotivated, you know, that's another word to describe languishing, which is the opposite of happiness. And we just don't feel inspired. We don't have an umph to do something. We talked about it in our last podcast as well. And then there's disconnection. We don't feel quite connect- connected. And when you're not connected to others, it's really hard to get on the road to happiness. So when there's a gap between, uh, you know, all these words that I just described, then it's probably not leading you to happiness. You're probably looking at happiness from the perspective of, I only do this. If I only do X, Y, and Z, if I just get to, if I just do accomplish this or get to this, then I'm going to be happy. But see, happiness doesn't magically happen. Those are myths. You know, we have control. You have control over these gaps. You have control over stagnation. You have control over feeling empty. You have control over the lack of focus or the lack of clarity. You have control over the lack of motivation or the disconnection. And so this requires you to confront some hard things in your life so that you can move forward towards happiness, face those things that are hard, moving towards things that bring you happiness. So these four words, right? these feelings of languishing, if you think about it, then I need to move in the direction of happiness. How? Well, I've got to move away from these four words that I just described, right? Languishing, which is a disconnection, right? You feel dissatisfied, etc. So I need to start moving towards creativity if I'm going to get on the road to happiness. I need to move towards a sense of calling. I need to move towards a courage and connection, Those are small steps, but at least I'm moving towards the road to happiness. It's, this is not necessarily something where I stay and then I'm waiting for something magically to happen. No, I'm making small steps, one step at a time. See, now happiness becomes manageable. How can I move towards purpose? How can I move towards connection? How can I move towards creativity or clarity? Now you're making a choice to move towards happiness. And this helps you create more happiness. This helps you create happiness in your life, which is the abundant life that God came to give us. It moves you now towards joy. The Bible speaks of joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Now you're on the path to happiness. Remember, happiness is not a destination. Does it mean that you're not going to have hard things that you have to face? It just means that I'm moving towards it. What doesn't lead me to happiness? Let's talk about that. What does not lead me to happiness? And we're going to just dive in to what doesn't lead me to happiness. Well, look at your life right now. Where have you misplaced ideas of happiness? Recognize them. What did you think happiness was? Do you have misplaced ideas Have you put happiness in its wrong place? Think about the little messages in your mind, the subtle messages in your head. Think about false messages about happiness that you have been thinking about. We need to look at them, examine them. What have you thought happiness was? What is in your mind that you thought led you to happiness when in reality it was the wrong path to happiness? Let's discuss some myths. There are several myths about happiness. The first one I would say is that happiness is found in fame and fortune. Now think about that subtle message that we tell ourselves sometimes inside. If I just had this or that, now think about that. Is there anywhere in your mind subtle messages that tell you if I just had this, if I only had that? And there's a comparison there. If, if I only had this, maybe you compare yourself to other people and you may not consciously tell yourself that. But if I just had a little bit more of this, if I only had what they had, if I was a little bit more financially stable and obviously being financially stable, yes, adds a little bit more happiness right? And to some degree, that is true because nobody wants financial 
stress. But the problem with that is when you don't have this proper idea in place about happiness, you're going to never be satisfied. You're going to say, if only I had more and more and more. And there's a dissatisfaction and then you have more and then you want more and more and more. So what it does is it's only diminishing a feeling of happiness. And yes, although financial instability leads you to stress and anxiety, it diminishes happiness, right? But also the pursuit of more and more and more and more and more, and it's never enough, that also leads to stress. It leads to anxiety. And our culture tells us that more and more is what we should be pursuing, And it leads us to comparison. And you look at social media and you look at all these other different places and we find that if we have more, then we're going to be happier. And that's false. That is a myth. Those are subtle messages that we are going to dive into in the next few weeks because these myths need to be addressed. Do you have a myth, a subtle message that you've told yourself? Think about that. If only I was married. If only I had the career, if only I was in a house, if only I had this, if only I had this family, if only this problem would go away, then I would be happy. That's not happiness. That's a myth that is only going to lead me to stress. It's only going to lead me to anxiety. Let's dive into the next one. The second myth is approval of others. It's a false path when we want to have other people approve us, when we want other people to like us, it doesn't lead to happiness. Yes, we should feel connected with others and loved by others. That's important. We were wired that way. But to have external validation and to look for it in external validation, happiness, it doesn't lead us to happiness. It leads us to stress. It leads us to comparison. It leads us to low self-esteem. True connection is important. Having true connection, genuine relationships, that's key. We need that and we should pursue it because the word languishing also means disconnection. So if I'm going to get on this road to happiness, there must be a sense of connection. So I need to move towards connection with healthy relationships. So there's got to be a true connection. But there's a difference between true connection and external validation. I want others to like me if they like me. If the people that I work with like me. If only these people like me. If um the in your social media platforms, if only they like me, if, if, if I only got a like, if I only, you know, and you're looking for the external validation of others when in reality... That does not lead you to happiness. It's only leading you to stress. It's leading you to a low self-esteem. It's leading you to a comparison that is unhealthy, that is not going to lead you on the road to happiness. Next podcast, we are going to dive in and talk about more myths that are leading us to less and less happiness. Remember, happiness is not a destination. Happiness is a journey that we have to be intentional about getting on. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, blessed day.